But these aren't the only two drugs that we have for kidney cancer, and they're not necessarily the only two drugs that we have in the frontline setting. And we've had some recent clinical trials in the frontline setting of some other drugs, um, most notably the, the Agile study. Tom, do you want to walk us through, you were, you were the, the PI of that study, walk us through sort of the rationale, the study design, and, and the results of the Agile study? Sure, sure, Dan. So I, on behalf of my uh, co-investigators, got the opportunity to present this phase three trial at GU ASCO this past year. And, and as, you, as you recall, that it was a trial that compared frontline exidinib with frontline serafinib in patients with clear cell metastatic RCC. Now the statistics from the trial was based upon data that existed in 2008, 2009. That was that the expected progression-free survival of frontline serafinib was estimated to be about 5.5 months. And data that was emerging from the early stages of development of exidinib suggested that the progression-free survival in the frontline setting would be in excess of 10 months. So what we hoped to gather from this trial was a prolongation, moving progression-free survival from 5.5 months with frontline serafinib to greater than 9.8 months with frontline exidinib or a 78% improvement in progression-free survival. Pretty big jump. Pretty big jump um, looking back at it. So, so the trial enrolled 250 patients, randomized in a two to one fashion to reach that goal. When you looked at the, the characteristics of the patients on the trial, it was fairly well balanced except for the following. There was slightly more, and when I mean slightly more, I mean about 5% more patients in the serafinib arm that both had nephrectomy as well as a 5% um, more in the arm that had good performance status, I mean, and good MSKCC risk factors. But outside of that, they were well balanced. And when we looked at the results of the trial, um, we unfortunately did not reach our primary endpoint, which was progression-free survival prolongation in favor of exidinib. We needed to reach a one-sided p-value of 0 0.025. So what we showed was a progression-free survival of 10.1 months with exidinib versus 6.5 months with serafinib. The p-value came out to be 0 0.038, hazard ratio was 0.77. So the trial did not reach its primary endpoint. Toxicities were what one would expect um, with exidinib and with serafinib. So, so the trial was a negative trial. So it sounds like an active drug that didn't quite hit its primary endpoint. Absolutely, it's very unfortunate because um, you know, Brian was involved in some early trials, phase two trials, where there was a lot of excitement with exidinib. We certainly know it has a, has a role in kidney cancer and it may be a very active drug in the frontline setting, but unfortunately this phase three trial um, did, not, did not show that in a statistically significant way. So I think, you know, one of the lessons, and, and I wasn't involved with that particular trial, but with the drug in general, is that we as investigators need to be careful how we design trials and we can't just sort of throw things against the wall and assume that everything's gonna be positive. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and, and some of that's, you know, on us and other investigators. So um, exitinib is, you know, is clearly an active drug uh, we're going to talk about his data in the second line uh, setting later. Uh, it makes sense that a, a highly selective and potent agent could have greater utility in the frontline setting before the disease has been exposed to other, other drugs that potentially alter biology. So I think it's, um, to me, it was sort of a, you know, a, a design issue. It showed an advantage, but the way the trial was designed, it didn't come out as significant. And unfortunately, then that can't be put in the label, and we can't really sort of incorporate that into our routine practice. Right. Fair enough. Well, we're going to get back to Exitinib uh, in the second line setting, as Brian said, because I think it's an important drug that we use uh, in, in our armamentarium today in renal cell carcinoma uh, in that setting. But there's another.